Well, our new producer Lauren and I are here at Ladicio's on a sold-out Saturday night um, here in Boulder. It's their fabulous new menu. This is hot. But first, we're going to introduce Antonio Ladicio with his new series, Batman on a Boat. <laughs> He's the fat guy on a boat. Award-winning restaurateur, Antonio Ladicio. I know I'm fat, but... <laughs> now this renowned chef is combining his two great passions, cooking and sailing. You know what tack we're gonna lay on, so... To lead viewers on a voyage of discovery. There's only one thing that turns a chef on. It's like looking at beautiful women. You look at beautiful food, it makes you want to cook. Along with son Tabio, an expert in wines, coffee, and olive oils himself. Ching, ching. Salute, gentlemen. Salute. 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 Got to make sano. <laughs> this fun-loving father and son. What happened? Oh. <laughs> Tabio, you're not going out tonight. That's it. We'll visit some of the world's greatest ports. Miami, gateway to the Caribbean and South America. With the flavor and culture, any fat guy on a boat couldn't resist. Everything's casual. Hot over, hot over. I bought three dinghies already this year with the way you drive. <laughs> <laughs> Taking you step by step. Tonight we're gonna have a meal. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. From the gathering of the ingredients. But can we taste them before we buy them? We'll have some oysters on the way out. <laughs> what are you doing? I gotta pay for that now. These are Roma tomatoes. We don't only use them for cooking in Italy. We also use these for salads and for making sauces. Essentially, there's less water in them. To preparing the food. Notice what the colors have done. Gold and, and colors the way it is coming together. The other thing that I found is I can't... Uh, use wine or alcohol without making sure it's right <laughs> uh, to cooking the <laughs> fabulous meals on board but the most important thing now is the clams are relaxing if you watch them closely they're opening up and they're yelling i'm ready i'm ready <laughs> look they're popping open they're ready to eat each recipe will be made available for viewers on the spot by way of closed captioning or by going to the Fat Guy on a Boat website. It's great for a chef to be able to hang out on the poop deck of a boat with good friends, which I consider you now. This is my favorite time of the meal. And then it just gets better and better as Antonio visits his friends in some of the world's best-known restaurants to share the secrets of their famous dishes and desserts. It's a lot of love that goes into our recipes here at Joe's. Thanks. Well, that's only the two of us. There's the fat guy on the boat and you. I'm not ready for that. I need to italiano a little bit of Sorry about that. We're just talking in Italian about the anchovy because it's very important to have a little bit of anchovy inside the sauce. I'm sure he's getting to that though, right, Dad? As two generations come together, the visuals are as sumptuous as the dishes served. She's in the mud and milk. You taste the ocean. It's your passport to the finest in food, friends, and fun with those colorful captains of the kitchen. There's a fat guy on a boat. Set sail with the fat guy on a boat. Arrivederci America. Mark Kretz is the general manager here at Ladicio's. Uh, they have a new menu out, which is from Piedmonte, right? Piedmonte. Well, a portion of the menu is a regional menu. When we began with Piedmonte, we'll be changing this every several months. And you have all hot new chefs that are in? Well, we have uh, several chefs that have joined us of late. Uh, Sakima Isaac, our, uh, our head chef, has worked up from uh, cook to sous chef to finally chef.
His team, Cameron Grant and Nick Frankie, uh, heads up a wonderful team. Uh, we are in the process of sending each of them to different regions of Italy to learn the local flavors and ingredients so that they can return and uh, share it with everyone. Uh, Lauren, you're enjoying the uh, baked crepe cake, uh, crepe that is, filled with uh, an assortment of sautéed wild woodland mushrooms, the uh, little shallot and garlic, fresh thyme. It's uh, then covered and baked a little further with fontina cheese and it rests in a pool of a fresh tomato and basil pesto. This is our uh, risotto with uh, uh, sweet prawns uh, with tomato and oregano. This is something our sous chef uh, upon learned when he did his internship in Piemonte. It's a very delicate dish, but at the same time very rich. Butter and cream are necessities in Piedmont. A specialty of the Piedmont region of Italy, uh, they're deep golden fried uh, uh, frog legs. These are battered with uh, parsley and breadcrumbs wow. and served with a salsa rosa and a salsa verde. And uh, this next dish is one of our signature dishes. Uh -huh. uh, it is a duck uh, done Piedmonte style three ways. We have a, uh, a quarter of uh, nice. the duck leg and thigh which has been done in a confit fashion cooked in its uh, uh, reserved fat for six to seven hours. We also have, uh, next to that, the breast of duck cooked medium rare sauteed. This is drizzled with gorgonzola cheese, which comes from Piedmonte. And uh, the last item on the duck three ways is our homemade uh, duck and cherry uh, sausage. This next uh, dish is the medallions of cocoa dusted lamb. The lamb uh, center cut is, is uh, uh, sprinkled, dusted with cocoa powder, sautéed. The sauce is a reduction of a lamb jus with shiitake mushrooms. It's served with a, uh, uh, a creamy polenta, which has been infused with, with imported white truffle oil. This is our uh, uh, cold uh, antipasti fredo. This is a uh, selection, a kind of a montage of different uh, uh, appetizers. You'll see some of our fresh homemade mozzarella cheese there in the insalata caprese with vine ripened tomatoes. Some of the vitello tornato, which is a uh, poached veal sliced thin and served with a caper anchovy and tuna aioli. We have some imported cheeses and salamis our homemade uh, 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 duck and chicken liver pate, uh, roasted garlic. We have a, a number of things here. We're featuring Piedmonte for the next several months at Laudicio. So we have uh, in the gentleman's glass there a beautiful uh, uh, Gavi de Gavi from Fijini. Wow. This is a beautiful crisp but uh, mid-palate creamy wine. Uh, one of my favorite currently, uh, a Barbera d'Alba from the producer Paitin, this is again from Piedmonte, uh, from the single vineyard of Sarabuela. And this is a very robust style of uh, Barbera, which kind of fuses con a modern uh, uh, wine style with a traditional backbone.